Welcome into Chase Field in downtown Phoenix. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Arizona Diamondbacks. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Well, singy so here in Arizona, and this is a ballpark where traditionally the ball has jumped, but a few years back they installed that humidor, and now offense has been neutralized a little. And I think hitters still in their minds believe that the ball does carry, and that can produce some confidence as you step into the plate for your at-bats. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. And starting in this one, Merrill Kelly. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today. But when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you needed a man on third, less than two outs, situations five, where, yeah, maybe you're not a real the high strikeout field. guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss Three stuff field. in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. T.J. Friedel, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. That's inside. Two balls, no strikes. And that's in for a strike. Close, but called a ball. Now three and one. And he walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Now the number two hitter, Matt McClain. Swing and a miss. One Strike again. one. And a pitch. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. And ball one. Friedel on at first. Nobody out. Pitch misses. The count now two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Next pitch inside. Three and two now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 3-2 is nope. off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone-cold take. Now at the plate, Ellie De La Cruz. And first offering is fouled off. No outs, runners at first and second. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no no. At the belt and fires. Ball one. Just misses there. It's a good take. Right-hander kicks, deals. Maybe a two-ball. Five, four, three. But it's not in time, and they just get one. Spencer Steer, the next to hit for the Reds. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Well, Boog, early on in this one, having a hard time getting settled in. He's not showing control to throw strikes and let alone to throw it where he wants in the strike zone. This could be a tough one for him. 
the 1-0. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Fly ball down the line. Carroll moves towards it. Grabs it on the run. Runner tagging from third. The throws offline. He's safe. On the board first, it's one zip. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner in third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Now it's Nick Senzel. Kelly moved to first, and he's back in safely. Hey. Edge of the zone for a strike, going to one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Swing and a miss. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. So they scratch across a run here on no hits, no errors, and a man left. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Reds one and the Diamondbacks nothing. Back here at Chase Field, today's starting pitcher, Brandon Williamson. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound Leading out on there on the playing back. field. Don't know the what it is, field. but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Cattell Marte leading things off and takes a strike. Next offering is foul back. Gonna count one, one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Next one inside. off the plate Go inside. And the count's even at two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Smoked on the ground a second. Over to first. Oh. They get the out on Marte. That is second. The center field. Kennedy. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Buddy Kennedy. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Nope. Just missed. And he grounds one to the right side. He steps on the bag and two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Two outs, base is empty. And now here's the veteran DH, Tommy Fan. In there and it's 0-1. And a base hit up the middle. He was all over that one. Really nice job staying up the middle Not with his approach. Goal. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. 
So a man aboard Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. That one's in there on one. Fam off of first with two away. Next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. In there at the knees. And a pitch. That one is upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. And a payoff pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The pitch fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Here's a high chopper, De La Cruz, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. One left for Arizona. They're down one nothing. Back here in the desert, top of the second, and ready to hit now for Cincinnati, number 33. Christian Encarnacion Strand. The wind and the pitch. Not close with that one. Ball one. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Oh, he was ready for that fastball right there. Really turned on it, hit it hard, had the distance, but just too much hook to it. So might want to make a little bit of an adjustment, let it travel a little more, and see if you can keep that thing fair. Guriel has it sized up. He makes the grab, and there's one down. That is the third baseman. Here is the rookie third baseman, Noel V. Marte. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. And that one in the air center field. Carroll moves towards it. Brings it in with a nice running grab. Two up, two down. The right fielder, number 30. Will Benson, the next to hit for the Reds. hit left center field around first heading for two throws to second there's the tag they get him and that's the inning we played an inning and a half it's one nothing back here at the ballpark here's the left fielder Lourdes Goriel Jr. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Guriel gets a piece. One is fouled off. One, two now. And a ball, ball evens the count. Ball. 
Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. And a superb diving catch. That exists. Third baseman, Evan. So a great diving catch, and that was only possible because of the route he took to get there, right, Chris? Yeah, StatCast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it gets, pretty much a direct line to it, and perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life. I don't know, but, man, great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well. No fumble caused by the ground. So two balls and no strikes. Two will count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges. Really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. Boots it. But plenty of time to recover. And that's the second out. That is seven. The right field. This is Corbin Carroll. And the first oh, offering no is not close. And there's a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Next offering is in for a strike. Good oh, eye in that spot. <laughs> Gets a piece and stays alive. Left hand batter waits. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And the Diamondbacks down in order. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Welcome back. On to the third inning. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Kelly, back to work. Good strike right there. And that one is inside. One one now. Lined into right. Carroll makes the catch. One up, one down. The center TJ Friedel. TJ Friedel, the next to hit for the Reds. The walk and a run scored his first time. And a foul ball. Now the 0 1. And that one off the outside edge. That misses, and it's 2 and 1. Swings through that one for strike two. One down, base is empty. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. McLean Whoa, takes there. a ball as he stands in for the second time. And now nope. two and nothing. Two outs. And That's another ball. Right. He's done a great job getting the first two outs. Want to get this number two hitter, get back in the dugout, and face three, four, five next inning.
And a four pitch walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Now four pitches for the walk. The and that last one LED. didn't even threaten the zone. Yeah, like Catcher might want to go talk to him. So two down. In now for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. There's a strike. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball, but with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. Kelly checks over to first, and he's back. McLean leads off first with two down to the inning. And they're at the knees. That is strike two. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. 0-2 now. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that is that. Reds leave one. But they're on top, one nothing. As we go Leading to the last of the third, back. Nick Ahmed here to That's hit. Stop. Nick Ahmed. Oh, the wide to kick the pitch. And there's the strike. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Next offering is downstairs. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. One and two. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And a ground ball to first. He handles it himself. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting gun. The catcher. Gabriel. Now up next for Arizona, Gabriel Moreno. Moreno getting ninth in today's lineup, and he was born in Venezuela. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. And a pitch. And a count one and two. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Second baseman, Patel. Martin. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Grounded out his first time. That's in there, and that's strike one. All one's the count. Here comes a pitch and a foul ball with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here and he deals got him definitely not a parte for Cattell Marte buddy Kennedy stands in now for the Diamondbacks grounded out his first time up Kennedy. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, and one. That one 95 to finish him off. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Three innings complete. It's the Reds one and the Diamondbacks nothing.
back here at Chase Field. John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Spencer Steer. Steer. The pitch. That takes low for ball one. Well, these Reds showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. Kicks and deals. To the right side. Dives, and he can't hang on. Safe at first as they can't make the play. And now the DH, Nick Senzel. His first at bat was a strikeout. There's a strike. Steer aboard here at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase nope, if you look down in that area. Started after the 1-2 pitch. Appeal to first. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. Two two now. There goes the runner. Fights it off. He'll see another. Nobody out. Runner at first. That one down the line, and it stays fair. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now bad. The first base. Number thirty three. The next to hit for the Reds. 0 for 1 with a flyout. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 1. And here it comes. Little chopper rolls foul. And the righty deals. On the ground to third. Dives, but it's off his glove. No throw, and they come away without an out. Now Bases loaded, nobody out. Noel V. Marte getting ready to hit. Fly it out to center in his first at bat. Good eye right there. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Righty delivers. High fly ball, right field. Carroll moving under it. He's got it. Runners tagging from second and third. A big run scores on the sack fly, and they lead by two. Well, right there, he's definitely looking for more than just a sack fly with the bases loaded and nobody out, but you'll take it. Now it's up to the guys coming up behind him to pick up the rest of those runners on base. Two on, one out. Will Benson, the next to hit for the Reds. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Two on, one out. And a good eye there. Runners are at the corners, one away. Next pitch is outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Oh, 
Riding to the play. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. Ground ball left side and foul ball. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He notches strikeout number 150 this season. You know, variant oh, speeds can good. be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really wasn't a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Stevenson in the box now. Take strike one. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. And a foul ball. That one off the mark. And a count one and two. Runners on first and third. Two away. Check swing. Appeal to first. No swing. Just held it back there. In the air out towards right center. Carroll moving under it, and that will end the inning. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Reds two, and the Diamondbacks nothing. Ready to go, bottom Ready four. Go. Here's Tommy Pham. The designated hitter. Tommy Pham. And the pitch. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Got him. And one away. And now it's Christian Walker. Grounded out to short in his first trip. That misses the zone, and it's one to know. That one in there across the letters. Here's a one two. Got him swinging. Now bad. No Here's Guriel. And remember, he was absolutely yeah. robbed of a base hit last time up. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Eight. Strike two. Only two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now here is TJ Friedel. 
freedom. The right hander back to work. Late with the swing there. And the right hander deals. That's a ball. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still oh, laid on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. McLean stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Foul ball. The pitch. And misses inside. Next pitch off the play, and the count is three and one. And that's in there at the knees. Three balls, two strikes. Payoff pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And yeah, there's now ball four. The ball. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. Next for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Still able to get it there in time. He keeps his composure and they get the out. Spencer Steer, the next to hit. That one misses. One and oh. McLean on its second with two down. Bounce to the right side. Marte to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Reds two, and the Diamondbacks nothing. Back here in the desert, bottom of the inning. And now here is Evan Longoria. Evan Longoria. Pitch. I'm always interested in guys like Evan Longoria. He didn't have any scholarship offers out of high school, wasn't drafted out of high school, but eventually ended up at Long Beach State and became a first-round pick. How do you go from not drafted to a first-rounder? Steer makes the play, and there's one away. The bat, the right fielder. Next to hit for Arizona, Corbin Carroll. Went down on strikes his first time through. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. The 1-0. -oh. 
There's your strike. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. One one check swing appeal down to third no swing. The next offering misses and now three and one a rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. No pattern so up next, Nick Ahmed, 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Now snap throw to first, and he's back in easily. There for strike one. All ones the count. He's going. The he's kick going. in the pitch. Runner hey. goes. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. See. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang bang play. Statcast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Stays alive. One out and a runner at second. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Digging in, Gabriel Moreno picked up a base hit to center his first time up. In there, and it's 0 1. That's through there for a strike. Rudder at second, two down. Look out! Perfect. And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Oh, that stings right there. He was just one out away from going back to his seat in the dugout, but instead, he's going to have to face another test. Hopefully, he can forget about the one that got away. Luke, have you forgotten about the one that got away? Marte in the box now. Take strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. That one close, ruled the ball. And that's ball one. And there's a the ball. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. And that one fouled off. First and second, two down. And down on strikes he goes. That's the inning. So they strand a pair. We're through five. It's the Reds two and the Diamondbacks nothing. Top six. We now it's the Reds DH. Back. Nick Senzel. Nick Senzel. The pitch. That's a little bit low. Senzel, 27 years old, and he's usually in the outfield. Today he's the DH. Next offering is in for a strike. You know, Booth, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off.
Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Merrill Kelly won't go any further tonight. Two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout, and we'll be back with a new pitcher. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, number 30. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Number 33, the next to hit for the Reds. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Right handed reliever. Ball L wanted one. one. We got one ball, one strike. The one one. Good eye right there. Next pitch is outside. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Payoff pitch. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. Now Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Here's the third baseman, Noel V. Marte. On the ground, could be two. Goes to second for one. Relay to first, double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Will Benson. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. And it's gone! Home run! A big blow to the home fans. His seventh home run of the season. And they boost their lead. It's 4 nothing. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch. And I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And the batter now, Tyler Stevenson. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0-1. One, one. That one drilled left field. Guriel handles the chance. And that's the third out. Cincinnati plates a pair on this homer. It's now a 4-0 ball game. Back after this on the show. Welcome back. Well, we go Here bottom we go. six. And now here's a speed threat. The outfielder, Buddy Kennedy. Buddy. Kennedy. Williamson back to work. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Well, these Diamondbacks, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Kicks and fires. That misses off the outside edge.
Hard hit left side. Whips it to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the six. The designated hitter. Tommy. And now it's going to be Tommy Fan. Out in front and foul to the left side. All over the first pitch fastball right there, but just a little bit out front. Got to let it travel just a bit more. The 0 2. And now 1 and 2. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Friedel calls it in, two away. Now batter. The first base. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Walker measures six feet even, 210 pounds, and he's a former National League gold glover. Swing and a ground ball out to short. De La Cruz jumps, throws. That ends the inning. Diamondbacks down quickly. They trail it here 4 0. We go to the top of the seventh. Now here's the Reds' leadoff man, TJ Friedel. The center fielder, TJ Friedel. And a pitch. Off the mark there. And that is ball one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Kevin Ginkle up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. And the 1 0. -oh. And that one is inside. Left hand batter waits. That one missed. And there's the automatic. Three one now. There's the strike. Three two chopper right side Marte and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh the batter batter now second base Matt McLean so digging in Matt McLean First pitch doesn't find the zone. Just a weak fly ball this time. Snags it on the run. Out number two. Now bad at and ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. This one lifted in the air, left field. Guriel trying to get there, tracks it down for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. And one, two, three, go the Reds. But they lead it four to nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh, here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. The Diamondbacks in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That's in there. And that is strike one. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Number 66. Loosening up for manager David Bell. 
Sims getting cranked up as well. This to third. Marte with the throw to first. And the leadoff hitter set third down to open the seven. Three. Good slider inside Batman. right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled oh, yeah. over it. Got the ground ball. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. That catches the zone for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Just misses with that one. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch is outside. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Went right after him with that two strike pitch as he continues to roll on the mound. Yeah, he's not out there trying to nibble at all. He is attacking the strike zone. And I think when your confidence builds as the start goes on, still putting up all zeros on the scoreboard, gives you a lot of confidence that you can really continue to go after these hitters. And that wasn't the best pitch for the strike out there. And he'd probably admit that, but he got it by him. And it's fouled away. A one down. And a strike on the outside edge. Next pitch misses inside. Now one and two. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing for Arizona. They're down 4 nothing. On the mound now, Joe Mantiply. And he's had his struggles so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. So now here's the Reds cleanup hitter, Spencer Steer. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Here comes a pinch. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Just missed. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Next offering is fouled back. And the 2 2. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And that's down it away. Three balls, two strikes to count. On the ground to first. Walker takes it to the bag. First out in the top of the eighth. The bag, number 15. In now for the Reds, Nick Senzel. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. That misses. Ball one. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Kevin Ginkle appears to be getting loose.
That's in for a strike. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around oh, the knees okay. to be effective. The 2 1. And strike two. Now all even up. On the ground, right side. Marte gathers and throws to first. Barely got him for the out close play. Two outs, base is empty. Number 33, the next to hit for the Reds. That one's in there, 0 1. Belton fires. Now fly ball to right center. Carroll moving under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And that is that. Reds go down quietly, but they're in front 4 0. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the eighth. There's the shortstop at the play. Nick Ahmed. Nick. Oh, Williamson still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. That one not close. And it's a ball and a strike. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys put a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Now the Reds manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen. Brandon Williamson is done. Great effort out of him as he exits in line for the win. We'll tell you about the new pitcher when we get back. Number 66 gets the ball now. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. First offering misses the mark. Rudder at first with no outs here. That's in for a strike at 95 and one and one. In the air out to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. The batter, number four. Second baseman, Cattell. Here's Cattell Marte. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Ball one, one, no strikes. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Ian Jabot loosening up for manager David Bell. Ahmed, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. On the ground to third, and that's just foul. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Right-hander kicks deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. 
He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Next one nope. misses, and it's two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You could tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Three and two now. In the air, left field down the line. Steer hauls it in, and there's two away. Now batting the center fielder, Buddy. Man at first, here's the center fielder, Buddy Kennedy. Fly ball to right. Benson moving under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Miguel Castro gets handed the rock out of the pen. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Your attention please. Now pitching for the Diamondbacks. Number 50. Miguel. Miguel. Now the third baseman, Noel V. Marte. The third baseman, Noel V. Marte. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Kevin Ginkle, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Next offering is in for a strike. Slider misses outside. Swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Will Benson, the next to hit for the Reds. He's already homered here in this one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Castro goes six feet seven inches. He features a sinker, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Next nope, offering nope. misses, and now 2-0. Oh. And he pumps it a strike. They say you win. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Two up, two down. Well, the well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Stevenson. Tyler Stevenson now at the plate. Chopped out towards short. Ahmed. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Reds down in order. They lead 4 0. And welcome back. Now it's the DH. Tommy Pham. The designated hitter. Tommy Pham. The wind and the pitch. Strike one. Rip 
stopped into right center. And that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. Everything came together for him. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Pitch misses inside, inside. Ball, one. ball one. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. The 1 0. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And makes the grab. Runner tagging for third. And the throws offline, safe at third. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. First nope. pitch, and he just misses. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. The 1-0. Hey. And that's in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Rip towards third. Now two away as they get a run across. New pitcher for the Reds, Alexis Diaz. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Here's the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Evan Longoria. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, a four-pitch save. He was just starting to get comfortable out there after throwing a lot of pitches in the bullpen in this one. But a nice job of attacking the hitters, being very efficient. And this is what you want to do. You want to come in, and you want to close things out as quickly as possible. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.